All right, morning, guys. Uh, we'll, we'll crack on half an hour's work. Um, if you can all go on mute, just in case there's uh, puffing and panting, that'd be good. Only I'm allowed to puff and pant on these. Um, okay, uh, do a slight change to warm up this morning. A uh, little bit more mobility, and we're going to top and tail the workout with mobility today. So uh, but the main body of the workout will remain fairly similar. So um, you can, on your mat, I'm just going to drop the inside elbow down and then open the chest to the ceiling. It might take a while to open up so you can get the elbow lower. We're just getting a bit of thoracic mobility going in the back. Just keep it moving. Keep that leg straight behind. You might feel it stretch with the hip flexor. Bring the other foot up to the same position. Settle in. I'm always pretty tight. I ran last night, always pretty tight in the top of the hamstring to the glute area. Just takes me a while to open up. Just keep really good rotation through the upper body. Keep the hips facing down. Okay. Take the leg back and go to all fours. So you're on your knees. We're going to just, um, we're going to start with, I'll do it slightly side on, hand into the back here. And you're going to look at your elbow and you're going to just open the chest up towards the ceiling. Keep the hips square to the floor. And just with the head, look to the elbow. Keep the hips square. Only, you know, don't 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 move more than you can. Just nice, small movement. Get into like forty-five degrees is fairly okay. Same on the other side. Hand into the back. Seven or eight of these. Keep looking at that elbow over the shoulder. You'll just feel yourself open up a little bit more. Up. Okay, you're gonna do the same with the hand on the back of the head. You're gonna come into the other arm and then up as far as you can. Keeping those hips still. Let the upper body do the movement. It helps get the movement of the day. Perfect for this session. Same on the other side. A few more. Okay, staying on all fours. Gonna just suck the belly up to the ceiling and then push it down into an arch and stretch up and just go through a few of these. Just look for really good range of motion. Move the spine as much as you can. One more. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to standing now. 
we do some uh, walking hamstring mobility. So it's one step forward, very straight leg, toes dorsiflexed, scoop to the floor. So overdo this, just make sure the leg's straight, just go as far as you can. It's actually a little bit of like nerve flossing through the back of the leg as well. You can do it stood still or walking. Really scoop low. Couple more. And then we'll go to um, a sideways version, so hands by the side. Here, we're gonna scoop low in front of you and back up to the other side, keeping your hips facing forward the whole time. Really scoop across with the hands. And then we're gonna move now back to the floor and do just a little bit of core activation. Do a very simple sit down, hands behind. We're gonna go into back plank. So very, very straight, push the glutes to the ceiling, switch the core on, you'll feel the hamstrings engage. Hold this for another 20. Simple exercise. Put the core on. Make sure today, you know, as ever, we're focused on feeling that core work. I could very easily do this from just the hamstrings. I'm engaging the core as well. Okay. Let's roll over. We go into a straightforward plank. Same thing. Just 20 seconds here. Really switch the core on. No need to make this one any more difficult. Take the weight through the belly, not through the arms, if that makes sense. Okay, and then staying on your front, down to the floor, we'll just do some swimmers, which are opposite. Opposite hand, opposite leg, nice control, good range of motion, bit the speed up. All right, guys, that should have us pretty warmed up. So what have I got for the session? I've actually got now uh, two, four, and six kettlebells. Um, you just need some variety. And I've actually got five kilo plates, which you will have seen me use before for a twist exercise. So but any combo of sort of like those, couple of those will do. And Swiss ball or a foam roller. So um, yeah, first up, we've well, done it before, if you've done this, with me is toe touch crunch so it's on the back touch we're going to use a weight if, you, if you're getting better at this use a heavier weight and then we're going into the 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 side plank with the, with the weight on the hip which is with the dip uh i started at two kilos i think it was up to five the other day so you know we're starting to just add a bit of weight same exercises so we're gonna do a minute of each we're going in 10 seconds um, I still find the toe touch crunch hard, so I'm going pretty lightweight here. It's as straight a legs as you can do. Up oh, and crunch. Go. 45 seconds, 50 second recoveries. Do 
15 seconds to go. Five. Okay, good. Ready for the plank. It's it's legs spread, so it's one, it's uh, upper leg in front. Stability, weight right over the body, and go. You can just hold this position, or go no weight, or just take your time and have a break every 10 or 15 seconds. It all comes good in the end. Keep driving up to the ceiling. Guys, just go on mute if you can as well. Just this is being recorded for a lot of other people. So, uh, back into toe touch crunch. Five seconds, legs up. Ten to go. Okay, other side on the plank. I think this gets the worst combo out of the way. First thing, personally, for me. Okay, and we're down to the floor. Push. Drive the, the hip up to the ceiling, that's the key here. Look to my weaker side. It's getting stronger over the week, so. Really drive it high. Five to go. Good. Oh, I'll take a minute's rest as well as the 15 here, get a drink. Um, for the next one, it's um, standing, standing rotations. So we're at 90 degrees, weight slightly bent, arms really straight back. And you go in side to side, and then you're down to the floor. And it's 45 degree back, straight arm. And if you want to advance that, it can be legs in the air. Some people will be getting to that stage. Um, on the bent, on the stud one, increase the weight if you find it too easy, but look for really great range of motion. Um, and the same on the, fl on the floor, lift the feet if it's getting too easy. Uh, if it's too hard on the floor like this, bring the weight in, drop it to your side. We'll just, we'll just rest so we get quality of movement here. Okay, 
I've still got 25 seconds yet. Use any kind of weight, it, it, you know, for any of these, it doesn't really matter. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, nice straight backs and rotate. Really make, but engage, engage the core, don't let the arms do the work. Make the body twist from the core. Makes it a lot harder. Straight back. Keep the back straight. Keep reset, resetting that form. Five seconds. Keep the core engaged. Down to the floor. Forty five degrees. Straight arm and rotate again. Make the core do the work. The arms shouldn't get tired here. Great range of motion if you can. Five to go. Okay, rest. Back up to the floor, uh, back up standing. Okay, straight back. Two, one, go. Engage the core, make the spine twist in a straight line. Think of the spine running from the pelvis up to the head. Make it rotate using your core muscles. Five seconds. Okay, good, down to the floor. Stay tall through the spine. Three, two, one, go. Ten seconds. Stay tall through the spine. Stay left back. And rest. Good stuff, guys. Another drink. Time for two more rounds of stuff. Bit of mobility to finish. I think we'll do uh, probably the, one of the heavier weights you've got for this is dumbbell is a uh, kettlebell landmine dumbbell landmine. So it's hips forward, 
slightly bending the knee down to one side, swing up to the ceiling using the core, straighten the knee, soften the knee, back to the other side, stop, stop dead, so the core has to go again. And then we're gonna go straight into lying leg falls, which are on the back, leg pressed in, leg straight out ahead. I'll give you some advancements as we go. We're going in five. Three, two, one, go. Use the core, drive it up. The key here is that you really drive up the core. Make yourself strong at the, the most stretched out position. Just keep driving it. Don't let the arms do it, make the core do it. Okay, good. See my flock from there very well. We're straight into it. Line leg falls on your back, back pressed in, arms by your side or on your chest or straight above you is more difficult. Back in, start taking the legs out and back in. Arms by your side is the easiest option. Keep that back pressed into the floor. Control the motion both ways. Very good, like lower abs, even hip flexors getting a good work workout here. Ten seconds. <sighs> Okay, good, back to the landmines. Ready, we'll go straight in. Slightly soften knee, core up to the ceiling. Really drive it. Just remember to have a slight pause at the bottom so that there's no momentum carrying it up. It's all a new movement. Really good rotation in the body. Come from lower down if you want. Five to go. And rest into the floor. We'll go straight in. The real need for recovery between these. Feet up. You'll notice little advancements like first week I was having to do these with my arms by my side and the chest. I actually could probably hold the weight in my hands now while I do this to control it. You know, you're getting a little bit stronger. This is the last week of these specific exercises. We'll have a, a change of main set next week. I think four weeks is, is pretty good. Everyone gets to learn the exercises, then we do new ones. Keep driving this one back pressed into the floor. Five more. Three, two, one. Okay, good. 
and rest. Uh, we go into the last round for today. Which is uh, going to be Swiss ball pass to back bow. So Swiss ball pass is tension on the ball with the inner thighs. And you're going to pass over tension with the arms through the chest and you're holding the tension. Yeah. And then back bow is simply on the front with a, with a generally I find a lightweight works. You're holding good tension through the back, elbows up, weight on the head, up into a bow. You can go no weight there as well. It's quite difficult that you want good movement. 30 seconds. What I will say is most people should be doing this twice a week. So uh, yeah, re-watch the video. It's easiest done with the video because all the timing is done for you. I even watch my own video to do it just to make life easy. So. Right guys, five seconds. Ball, you can use the um, foam roller for this as well, or you can just do it without anything. Keep the lower back pressed into the floor. Keep great tension through the whole body here. It's not just a pass. Everything's switched on the whole time. Okay, five seconds. One more pass. That'll do. We roll over into back bow. It's the same thing. Keep great tension here. Good form. It's not about doing as many as you can. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Roll it up and down. Keep those elbows high. The glutes will be on, lower back's on, scapula's definitely up. A great arch in the back. Coming up five seconds. Okay, good. Swap to your ball pass. We're going in three, two, one, go. Great tension throughout. Don't forget to breathe as you're doing this. Lower back pressed into the floor. Press into the ball or the foam roller, or even your imaginary nothing. Especially the hands, like really press. Five seconds. Okay, good guys. Uh, into back bow. Three, two, one. Go, elbows up. Good tension. Pull those shoulder blades together and down on the back as you go up. Really good from a swimming point of view. Oh. 
You've got about ten seconds to go. Okay, great work guys. That'll do us for the main set. But important now to quickly just finish with a little bit more mobility. Uh, clear yourself a bit of space. We just go on the back. Just do some windscreen wipers. Arms out to the side, feet together. Roll side to side, but keep the shoulders on the floor. Let the lower back move. Just keep it moving. Don't let those shoulders come up. Just go as far as you can. And then we're going to go on to the front. I'm going to do scorpions, which is on your face, shoulders down. Keep the shoulder down no matter what. You're going to bring one leg over. Reach the floor the other side, but the shoulder must remain on the floor. Doesn't matter if the foot doesn't touch the floor. You just keep it moving, it'll get there in the end. Keep those shoulders down though, so that you're not cheating the twist. Do five more for me. <sighs> okay, good. Last one. Just go up to all fours. We did this one earlier. Head, head behind the hand behind the head. In and open the chest. Just give me about six on each side. Add these to your daily routine. You run warm ups, you swim warm ups, whatever. Really, really helps. With discussion on a coach's meeting the other day, oh, the swim guys about how much getting you, your back mobile before swimming and change the way you're swimming even that day. Okay, good stuff, guys. Hope that was good. New stuff next week. See you then. Thanks, Phil. Cheers, guys. Thank you.